Georgia Jack Turner Stadium is the place here for this midweek contest. It's a battle of the Peach State as the Georgia State Panthers out of the Sun Belt have traveled north to take on a top 10 Georgia Bulldogs squad right here on the SEC Network. Here's the one, two. Swung on and missed for strike three. We'll pop into this one, it'll travel the left. Cindy Chambly is there, two away. Your movement. Really well hit this one to center on the line. And trust your defense. She'll trust her defense twice there in that half inning. Dallas Goodnight pulls that one in. Georgia will bat for the first time. We head to the bottom of the first. Kearney's 14 home runs, second in the SEC team lead. The 1-1 one -one is popped up. A one is lifted to left. It'll nestle into the glove of or in Brister. Have different coaches that give green lights and different coaches that would prefer you not have a green light because you want to work on things. You don't, you know, you don't want to force something. You want to. So two out and a runner at first. Jaden Goodwin pops this one up on the infield. Morton will catch it. Second time she's pulled one in here in the half inning. Scoreless after one. We head to the second later in the game. Why not get some different arms out there and. And it's, it's a very different situation to start a game. I've seen a dog, I think it was during a baseball game, he goes and retrieves the, the bat. That is a popular. I love that. I want, I want that to happen. What a play and couldn't make the play there at first. That was a heck of a play there by Goodwin to backhand, or excuse me, by Digby to come to her right. It'll be an infield single. This one is popped up, coming in, sliding, making the catch, Chambly, and that'll do it for State in the top half of the second. Their, their options are so open, and the lineup is so stacked that they can move people around and still have a very successful outing. Leadoff walk for Lindy Ray Davis. So, Every pitch matters here as this will be a hit and run situation for Georgia's Chambly will put the ball on the ground and try to leg one out. Can't do it, but Davis moves to second. Play. This one, good stop there by Nadler to keep it in the infield. She's gonna be safe at first is Jaden Fields. My swing to get too big. I mean, if I get a good pitch, I get a good pitch, but. Oh, she might've got a good one here. Going back, Park will hold it, but that will allow Davis to tag and score. Georgia puts its first run of the afternoon on the board. Jaden Fields goes to second. He's in the leave early, so make sure they catch it. They're far off, you know, at the wall. Right center, nearly some trouble there. Schroyer comes over and makes the catch in right. All over the place, really competitive games. A lot of really good teams, a lot of really good games, a lot of things happening. It's Georgia State and their hitters. So you have to stay focused. You have to figure out, okay, now we have a lefty. Now we have a righty. She has a changer. She has a rise ball. You know, you have to make sure you're communicating as a hitter. Man, that one's going to get her. One thing I do like about watching Bacchus and, you know, as a lefty coming into righties, she's not afraid to go in, and her bread and butter is up and in to righties. So as a pitcher, if that's your best pitch, you can't be afraid to throw it, and sometimes you're going to hit them. To center. Good night comes on. And Georgia State will strand a runner. We head to the bottom of the first one. To short, nearly too much to handle there as Morton came up firing over to Mumfield at first and she had to 
bobble that one briefly, and everybody gets a good laugh about it. your head out of the way. For Sarah Mosley, coming on is Brister. She'll make the catch for the out. We've seen several. Why this game is going so quickly. She's got good stuff here tonight. Curious to see how Georgia approaches her now, second time through the lineup as the one-two is swung on and missed for strike three, and it's a one-two-three inning. Back is now her second inning of work here as we move to the fourth. The one-zero. -oh. Good night in center will make the catch. Three, four, and five here for Georgia State. And, and that's a lefty-lefty, so as a righty, it's going to probably come into you a lot quicker than it's going to feel like it's coming to me. It's going to be going away. A little foul out there to first. 54, which is about 10 mile an hour less than her fastball. So. One, two, three inning of four. Lily Back is in the fourth. Ground ball to short, or second, excuse me. And the 4-3 put out at first gets our first down of the inning. You have to put down a sack bunt. You have to hit a, you know, you need to hit a sack fly. And focusing on having quality bats and, and hitting in this situation. Having them any, anything close to swing up. Golfed to left field. That one is trouble and it's gone. Sydney Chambly got just enough of it. And that one kept carrying for her seventh home run of the season. It's 2-0 Georgia. And sometimes it just starts with, you know, the people in front of you hitting the to second and over the head of Nadler. And Fields is aboard for the second time this afternoon. The first an infield single, and this one a little bloop that just gets out. So really looking for something you can drive hard here. Drives this one to left. This one will bounce off the wall. Stop sign for Fields at third, second and third now with two away. Three down there in the third, it looked like. Possibly going to do that again, but Chambly with two strikes. The home run, this one sent to right center. It's going to sit and roll off the bat of Ellie Armistead. Two runs will score. Turning and sliding into third safely is Ellie Armistead. She'll drive. Shortstop has got some great speed. So now top of the order. That one back up the middle. That'll drive Armistead in from third. So Georgia hits for the cycle as a team here in the fourth. Home run, That's single, fun. double, triple. <laughs> All last weekend for her, looking to get back on track here. To right. Catch is made, but Georgia. I always think it's interesting as a slapper and watching slappers, thinking about what their mindset is. Because the defense is set up The 2-0 popped up, two away. Which is about 10 or so miles an hour less than her fastball. And that's a big difference. Ground ball to Goodwin. One, two, three inning for Madison Kerpix. To right center and into the glove of Middlebrooks. One, two, swung on and missed for strike three. Oh. I think she's doing great. I think she's going right at him, pitching strikes, trusting her stuff. And There's a fair ball right on the line as Lindy Ray Davis turns from first. She'll make her way to second with a standing double. That one right on the line. It just got past Mumfield at first. Davis. This one to left center coming on is Brister. She'll make the catch. And Georgia is two strikes, and Georgia scoring 
four runs with two outs as this one's popped up. Mosley having to navigate over the bag there. That one drops in there for a called strike three. Her first strikeout of the outing. Two away, and that'll bring up J.C. Goodwin. You strike them out, throw them out. And Kerpix goes one, two, three here in the sixth. Strong precipitation as the one, two is sent to right field. For the out. Rain that's headed this way, so this game's going to finish just in time to beat that weather. Digby pops up. Two away. Which one out of me. And I think in games like this, when you get opportunities, you use them. You use them for the rest of the season and you, you know, to kind of determine what your role is going to be. Hey, one, two, three inning there for Michaela Stevens. Tyler Ellison pinch hit for her. So this one's going to drop and roll off the right field wall and getting the stop sign there is Jordan Rayner. Her first hit of the afternoon, just the second of the day for Georgia State. Above the Georgia State dugout first base side. 2-2, two, two, swung on and missed for strike three. Nadler is retired. Here, so what, shutting the door, getting out, pitching strikes here. Lightly tapped, the play will be at first for the out. Two away and a runner now in scoring position. Ground ball to short, to first in time. And Georgia is going to defeat the Panthers here five to nothing. For our entire crew doing a great job out here bringing you softball in the SEC on a Wednesday night. Appreciate you making us a part of it. Megan Wiggins, Caleb Brady, so long from Athens, Georgia, a winner 5-0.